architect, architect. I believe, and I believe in cities, not countries. Because in the city, there is no set race, religion, culture, not even, com uh, not even language. In a city, we have uh, multilingual, multicultural, and many races live together in a city. Thousand years ago, only a handful of countries that are existing now as it existed a thousand years ago. But the cities, the cities that we, have, we are living in right now, the major cities, they have existed a thousand years ago, and some of them even existed two thousand years ago. The reason behind this is very simple. Cities are more adaptable, more changeable, more evolving if you come and uh, look at it. For a country, in order to change a country, you will need decades, in some cases, lifetimes, to introduce a change to a country that will affect the living of its people. But for a city, you can do it in very short periods of time. This results in uh, forever dynamically changing cities, and this in enables for us to change and create dreams in our cities. You can walk to a street hundred times. You can look to a street hundred times when you are passing. But only when, only when you start to imagine, only when you start to dream a new way of appreciating that street, you start to reshape your city. After all, vision is not imagining projects or imagining the way that it could be. Vision is looking to a space and realizing a potential. And when you realize a potential, actually feeling tormented by that potential, in the absence of that potential, that torment actually forces you forever trying to achieve that potential. And by this dream, by this vision, we can make our cities happier, more content, and rich rich even when we don't have money. So we can make our cities happier, but this becomes, this happiness, this livelihood, becomes more and more important according to the World Health Organization. Because apparently, in 2005, nearly half of the population of the world was living in cities. And it is expected in 2013, nearly 60% of the people will be living in cities. This is a direct result of industrial revolution. More uh, factories, more machines, and people migrating towards the city. So this makes it even more important for us to make the cities, to enable the cities, make us happier. We have started nine years ago. I was a municipal council member nine years ago in Nicosia Turkish municipality. Also, I was the head of the technical committee, but it does not have to do only with municipalities or only with officials or elected officials. We had a dream in Nicosia Wall City, not just the municipality, a set of people. We looked at the Nicosia Wall City, which was nearly half a thousand years old. It was built by Venetians, and uh, when we looked at the city in 2013, it, was, it made us sad. Because the amount of cars inside, there were people, pedestrians, who were using this area. The tourists were going to the walled city to see the cultural heritage buildings. But they were fasting through. They were not staying. They were looking at the old churches, old mosques. But immediately after, they wanted to leave. Because the place, the spaces, they were occupied by cars. Many cars that did not allow this. And when the sun set in the walled city in 2013, and the lights started to go on, it became a coast town. It was really empty. People were not going there. The young Nicosians did not know and appreciate the city. As many of you living in Nicosia are now going to the walled city of Nicosia, it was not used by the university students also. How, nearly half of the population of Nicosia, we have university students that they were not aware in 2013. This made us really sad. Uh, the pictures are a little 
less seen, but in this sense, we have looked at this, and we have imagined a living, a colorful, a, a very enjoyable walled city, Nicosia. We started to say this, and they said, no, it cannot be done. We started a project, pedestrian project, to revitalize this area. We have said that we want a city as colorful as in day and as colorful as in night. We said that we will make this area pedestrian and people will come more and more and this will be the center of the town. They said, you're dreaming. They said that it is impossible. Nicosians don't like to walk. You're going to finish the few left businesses in the old city Nicosia. There were protests. There were personal protest also and a headline with my name on it saying that I do not know the project. But we persevered. It's not just me or anyone else or the municipality. A set of people, the people who believe that we can change the city in itself, we believe that we can make it. When they said to us that it is a dream and it is not going to work, we said, yes, you're right. We are dreaming, but no, it is going to work. So we started the pedestrian project and we called it Every Culture Walks in Its Own Path. And immediately after, uh, it started to grow when you made the roads for the walking. Suddenly the cars, when they went away, first the tourists started to came in the walled city Nicosia. What happened is when the tourists started to stay, when they were passing for the cultural heritage buildings, what happened is they started to sit and have a coffee, sit and have uh, food or a beer or a wine, and it started to grow the business. First it was tourists, then the area started to have a role of economic growth. And people started to open new shops, new coffee shops, new bars. And this has led for the Nicosians actually to turn back to the wall city. Many entrepreneurs, many visionaries, visionaries I call them, started to, especially young people, young Nicosians, teenagers, they have started to invest, open their own cafes and shops inside the walled city. So this created a loop that fed itself and it's, it, this feeding was actually feeding the economic growth. That you, the university students, started to go there and it has just went upwards from there. Uh, I will show you this picture. We have expected this growth in old city Nicosia, but we did not expect this. In the night, it was empty. This is the same street. This is the same buildings. There is no difference in between them. The only difference between the building on the left, the photo on the left, and the photo on the right, is the people. One guy opened the bar there and said, we are going to own this place. This, this building, this shop was my father's, but I'm going to turn it into a shop, into a bar. And people started to come, and immediately, the end result exceeded our expectations. It has revitalized and worked the walled city and changed the behavior of the Nicosians. Now young people go to this place. Now the tourists spend time, especially in this space. They come from the north and the south and the airport and even the uh, other borders. So this was for our first dream that we have started many years ago. But uh, when I say we, I was uh, told by a, a presentation committee. When I say we, I do not say a political entity or a municipality or anyone else. I say we, and I consider we for the people who dare to believe in these dreams in their cities. So I will introduce you a set of the other dreams that we share. These dreams are bigger than me. It cannot be I. It have to be we. So when we look at the major uh, commercial street of Nicosia, the railway street, this street is, this avenue, this street, is one of the major commercial streets, and every small plot is considered to be sold at least one to two million pounds. But when we look at it, we say that we do not deserve this road. This road is not something as we dreamers deserve. We deserve something like this. We deserve the trees that we can plant in 12 months time 
and we deserve the bicycle lane. We deserve the five meter walking road. And when we see this, again, we cannot unsee it. We can see the difference of just the trees implanted in the street, how it can change our lives. When we continue and look to the Venetian walls underneath the walled city, five, half a thousand year old city walls, as you can see from here, underneath that, unfortunately, it is being used right now as a car parking area. When we see this, we don't see the car park. Instead of the car park, we see a temporary concert hall where we will be listening to classical music, opera music, with hundreds sitting on the moat that is underneath the Venetian columns. Again, when we look at the uh, main artery of river, Kanlidere River, this is the main artery of Nicosia. It is, it is the livelihood. But when we look at it, we see a trash can of a city. We see the bulldozers just skinning it alive and destroying it periodically. We cannot see the nests of the birds or the ducks or the uh, turtles or even, if many of you do not know, the river lobsters that live inside this river. But when we look at it, we see a more ecological approach that will envision both the homo sapiens and other living organisms living together. Some of them is using for walking, some of them for nesting, but still using it together. We, we imagine this, this is what we deserve in our city. When you continue and look at the uh, army area, army base behind the main commercial street, we, we imagine, we again imagine a downsized Central Park where we can take our children in the future to ride the kites or when we go in the mornings to yoga or take our girlfriend or wife to go and have picnic in the afternoons. We, we imagine this and I'm sure that when we imagine it, we are able to do it. I'm going uh, towards the end. I will make this statement. We also imagine we will continue the pedestrian process. It's a never-ending process. You have to continuously imagine. You have to continuously propose and make it better and better in your world. So we hate the cars that are in the walled city. Instead of that, we want to live in a walled city. There are more people walking rather than more people driving cars fastly. And of course, since Nicosia is in the planet Earth, and the biggest crisis of the world, according to COP26, is the environmental crisis. We piss on the uh, old containers and we want to be environmentally more responsible. We dream a city that is concerned with climate change and segregates the trash and don't use the one-time plastic and uses the energy efficiency uh, standards in the city. And lastly, I wanted to show you this photo. It is another project that we can do, a vision that we can do, and it is very easily done, very easily applicable. This is the reservoir of uh, Hamidköy, where the water that is coming down from the mountain stays here and being used. Again, unfortunately, it is being bulldozed periodically, so it doesn't uh, attract mosquitoes and other kind of uh, bugs. But this area is the area where the ducks and other birds are nesting and putting their uh, eggs, especially in the seasonal times. So we, we can see that by just introducing a small Buri pathway, Buri is crushed Yellowstone, it can change everything. It can create an area that, that will reach our supplies and reach our lives lastly. These when we talk about the we as the dreamers of Nicosia, not just I, because dreams are bigger than just one person. And when two person, or three person believe in these dreams, they become more a reality. When we talk about dreams, I myself always think about Yeats's uh, poem. It says, I being poor have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet, tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. So these are our dreams for our city.
power city, the people who are living inside, the people who are experiencing the city. And because of them, we do not feel poor, we feel rich. We know that if we can manage even some of them, we will make our city more content, more happier and richer for ourselves and for our children and for our children's children. And this richness, it will stay the same even if our children will not have money. They will be living in a rich city. I want you to, uh, after this presentation, think about your own cities. And when you go to your own cities, just imagine when you look at a street, when you look at a, a junction, when you look at an empty plot, try to imagine. Because when we can imagine our cities, we can take our first steps to changing our cities. And according to the World Health Organization, we will be living more in our cities, so we have to make them better. And when you imagine, when you dream, people will say that these are dreams and it is not achievable. They have told us as well, they said it was impossible. For those people, I want you to use the Nietzsche's code. Those who dance are considered insane by those who can't hear the music. I want you to hear the music, I want you to dance, I want you to imagine, and I want you to dream, friends. Thank you for listening.